So we know, and we have the blessing of getting to tell you every day, the Queen City is just a great destination for foodies, right? Mm -hmm. We talk to so many restaurants and folks, and no matter the type of food you like, you really are sure to find something you love. Mm -hmm. And just in time for the change of seasons, a lot of restaurants are introducing new spring menus, mm -hmm. right? Well, this morning, Dr. Cheryl Brayboy is live at one of those places. Cowfish has got some new stuff on the menu, Cheryl, and you get the wonderful task of trying it all today. I am a lucky girl this morning, Kristen and Mary. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're here at the Cowfish, you guys. Everybody loves sushi. A lot of folks love burgers. How about that combination, right? The burgushi, that's what they're known for, and the bento boxes. I am joined by Doug Boat. He is the manager here at the Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having us. All right, so spring is here, and that means new menu items. We're excited about what you guys have to offer. Yeah, we've rolled out some new items for you today, uh, specifically to start with our uh, JTF role, our Justin Thomas Foundation foundation role. Um, in collaboration with Justin, he's picked some great premium ingredients, um, put a role for us together that goes to his foundation proceeds, uh, $6 to every role go to his foundation. It helps kids in needs, military veterans, um, and we're going to roll that from May 1st all the way till the end of June this year. So okay, we're excited for it. Well, that's a nice long span of time. Yes, yeah. Good two months through the spring. I think it's a it's a fresh roll. The ingredients really stand out. Um, and through the spring, I think it'll be a nice, clean option for, for our guests to have. So. Okay, nice and clean and yes. super delicious. Yes. Chef Echo is standing by. We're going to get the 411 on this JTF roll. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us in here. Okay, so you're going to walk us through step by step how to make this Justin Thomas Foundation roll. Right, cool. So basically, I already have some, but I can start We're over with a new one. Okay, let's start fresh. Yep, and then rice, just like. It's nice and sticky, that rice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We put the sushi vinegar in there to keep the flavor and stickiness. So the sushi vinegar, that's what gives it the, the stickiness and then the flavor. Okay, that nice delicious flavor. Is this something yeah. folks can really try at home or is the best bet to come out here to the cowfish? You, the best is come to here, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So, okay, so what's that you're sprinkling? Now, uh, sesame seed. And Why uh, the sesame seed, chef? It's uh, kind of like authentic on sushi. So every oh. straw, that's uh, kind of like authentic. So, okay, it makes it super authentic. Yeah. A, a little extra crunch too, which yeah. we like. Yeah, okay. And then this uh, lamb crab which means it's a real crab from the egg crab, actually. So okay, I love the lump crab. Yeah, and jalapeno. String so this gives it a little extra spice, the jalapeno. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And it's yeah. the, the green pepper there. Green, yeah. And then two shrimp. Ah, and uh, so that's, that's battered shrimp. Mm-hmm. And then tempura shrimp, yeah. So when it comes to sushi, there's a little something for everybody. Some folks do like the raw fish. Some people like it cooked. This is one for those who like it uh, cooked. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, this uh, kind of like, I don't, I mean, like, in here we have uh, from beginner, mid, and the pro, too. So. I'm interested to know if Mary and Kristen are beginner sushi eaters or if they are more advanced. Yeah, somebody want to try to eat, you know, and then we have the bento box, which is a combination between sushi and the burger. Okay, I like yeah. a good bento box as well. All right, so you are, what are you doing now? Now I put the tempura flake coating. Ooh, that does give it nice and crunchy. Yeah. All right, that's a very good combination. Yeah, and press again. Put the this one is fresh tuna, oh, big the, eye. Okay, the fresh tuna. So if you had it without the tuna, that would be for the beginner. But it's a little bit more advanced when you have that tuna on top. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, delicious. All right, so we have 15 seconds left. All right, and then. Justin, I'm going to ask you. Justin, uh, well, this is the Justin roll. Doug, I'm going to ask you. Real quick, when can folks get this spring item? Yeah, we're going to run this from May 1st uh, to the end of June this year. So, okay, so uh, just come into the couch. Around the corner, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's available uh, right around the corner for us. And what are we making next? Um, next, we're going to have the stout burger for you, um, and then we're going to show you our Malaysian lamb lollipops as well. Okay, so. very good, you guys. So much good stuff coming your way. This looks delicious. I'll try it in the next segment. It yeah. looks good, right, Mary Kristen? Yeah, that looks really good. I would say to answer your question, Cheryl, I'm like a medium sushi eater. I don't want like oh, five pieces medium. of raw fish on right. one roll. Correct. But I don't want it really cooked. <laughs> I, I would agree. Okay. I'll go with Kristen. So there you go. But it looks great. Medium. I'm yes. medium too. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really, really good. I'll tell you how it is. Thank awesome. you, Cheryl. We'll see you in a few. <laughs>